Hi, welcome to my advanced decals how-to video. In this video, we're going to talk about generic shooter integration and how do we get this pack in there easily. So let's go ahead and start. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and add the pack to the generic shooter project. This is a 4.18.1 install, a blank generic shooter project, and only added the advanced decals uh, directory, which is here, decals. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure before we open up the example map, we've got to change the physical materials. So we'll go up to uh, project settings under edit menu, and then we'll go into the physics options here. And here uh, we'll go down to the physical surface, and then under here you see all the different surface types that are already defined. Uh, these don't actually match up to um, advanced decals uh, hierarchy. Uh, it's a different order, such as like dirt first thing, and rock, and et cetera. So it's not a one-to-one. -one. So what we have to do is actually overwrite the material that's here uh, because it's actually less used on uh, the generic implementation versus the uh, advanced decals. So it'd be a lot more work to change on advanced decals versus changing it where these are used. I'll show you how to do that, a, a quick and easy uh, way to do that, some tips. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and load in. I import up here, and then what we'll do is find the uh, location of it was the install. Uh, it will drop in a physics setup INI. So you click on that, hit open, and um, that won't refresh until you restart the editor. So at this point, now we want to go ahead and shut down the editor, the uh, project, and then open up the uh, project back up. That will reload and refresh all the physical materials, and that will make sure that our uh, nodes should not be broken. So we'll check that now, especially with 4.18. They've gotten better with uh, broken links. Uh, prior to uh, versions 4.18, if you have some uh, issues with the de uh, decals not linking up, so go ahead and re-add the uh, advanced decals project to gen gener generic shooter again, and it'll overwrite those uh, files with the broken links. So now if we go to decals and then to um, actually the example map is called advanced decals under maps. This was the old architecture of the uh, folder layout so that's why it's in uh, the maps folder. So once we go inside of here uh, what we can do is hit play and then start firing away on the platforms just to ensure that we're getting the exact effect that we want. We're getting metal on metal concrete on concrete, glass, and wood, sheetrock, and so on, so it's all working. Alright, the decals are working. Uh, if I go ahead and, let's see, what is this brick? If I go from the side, you should have some, yeah, I see from the side shots, you have the, the, uh, the grazing angles. So that's definitely uh, working correctly. So we'll go ahead and continue on. Um, the next thing we want to do is replace the references that's inside a generic shooter. So if we go to generic shooter and go to um, the easy way, easiest way I found to do this is click on this and use your filter and use physics and then physical material. And then you can go ahead and click on the physical material and, and filter out the ones that were under generic shooter. So, so we want to replace these references that these are already referenced to uh, with the new physical materials from the advanced decals. So there's a couple ways to do that. So one way would be to use the uh, replace references tool. What's uh, um, you gotta be really careful to do this. Uh, so uh, caution. I'll show you another way I like to do it after this first way. So what we want to do is uh, let's first look at this PM concrete and take a right click on it and do show references. Um, if you guys don't know what a reference viewer is, it shows you everything that this is uh, attached to so we can say oh well this material is assigned to this material gray uh, texture base uh, concrete and uh, the grenade stack so we know that um, those are items that we could hit against and it should produce the this desired effect of this material so okay so we see the references we want this reference to the new one uh, concrete from the advanced decals so let's go ahead and go up one to content with our physical material filter still on and what we want to do is select all the assets that you want to consolidate so this would uh, be the pm concrete and then we want to consolidate it with concrete from the advanced uh, decals the decals material so we'll go ahead and right click and go to asset actions and do replace references Okay, and so now what, how this works is basically, uh, we, these are all the uh, uh, assets that have similar links, basically. You could do more than two. So in general, out of all the assets you have loaded together, 
which one do you want to become the new one, the singular one to have all the assets to link to? So that way uh, we want to go ahead and click on um, the concrete. So now all links that are tied to this one and all links that are tied to this one will all come to just this one. And this will have no links afterwards. So we also want to hit save. So we'll go ahead and save it once we have dirtied it. Basically once we made changes, it's considered dirty. Uh, and then we hit consolidate assets. And yes, uh, make writable and basically uh, this will delete that uh, file itself uh, make writable and delete and it takes care of all of it save everything all those materials that it was referenced to uh, are now cleaned up if you right click on it again and go to reference viewer on this new concrete one uh, we should see all those references moved over so reference viewer now you can see that we do have all of those uh, references now so the uh, team base example uh, the grenade stack so those are there plus the ones that I already had from the demo room like the the demo uh, display has that so that's one way to do it that way is a little trickier than the way I like to do it so let's show you the easy way that's just a uh, uh, just one of those uh, tools that I don't mess with very often but those are the one cases I would, or if you wanted to consolidate a whole bunch of different texture references to one texture, that's another way to do it. That's kind of the example they show in the documentation, I believe. All right, so let's go back and do this the easy way and go to generic shooter. And now I want to do is uh, change this out. So I'll just gonna hit delete, right? Oh, hey, guess what? It says there's stuff that's being referenced to it. Say, so yes, I know that. I want to go ahead and replace this with uh, the dirt from the uh, decal pack. There we go, dirt game decals material and so that does pretty much the same thing it'll go ahead and take all these links uh, for that um, physical material and then relink it to this new physical material so hit replace references yes and it will delete the old one and save all the changes so there we go so let's go ahead and go through this real quickly i'll go ahead and do the same thing on his we'll just go ahead and delete the flesh and then we'll drop down and look for flesh for the decal pack replace references done yes Save selected, and we'll rinse repeat a few more times. All right, uh, delete, glass, replace references, perfect, save, repeat, grass, replace references. All right, save selected. This is uh, pretty straightforward. Again, if people are having questions about any of these steps, feel free to leave them below. All right. Save. And water. Water. In place. Sure. One more to go here. Oh, actually, two more to go. Delete. Wood. Replace. There you have it. All right. So default. So what should we have for default? Because default is not a uh, one we have set up. By default <laughs> so let's go ahead and look what's actually uh, being referenced here and see kind of uh, what material so this is a character body a chest a character uh, some room tiles uh, the wall patterns some glass doors so this is kind of a hodgepodge of all kinds of different things so I don't think there's been a, a real intention uh, of what de uh, default is it's just uh, whatever so let's go ahead and just uh, assign a random one to it. So let's say, let's assign this to a dirt or rocks even. Let's delete. And I want to change this one to rock just for testing. You can change it to whatever one you wanted. Um, rock and replace references. Yes. Boom. Save it all. There we have it. Now all the physical materials have been set up. Uh, that take care of getting everything switched over to the um, pack. Now we need to actually uh, slice into the code to spawn the particle so we use the decal system for the um, different angles versus the generic one now generic one already has a, a system built in so we'll have to splice into it so what i what's uh, the way to find the files you need is click on generic shooter turn off physical material and let's say uh, hit weapon hit there you go we're looking for um bp weapon instant hit component so we'll open that up this is the uh, component that handles spawning those um, particles. If you look over here, we'll find a spawn impact particles, exactly what we need. And in this function, we have um, the information we need to pass it on to advanced decals. So we'll go ahead and uh, disconnect here. Uh, but we need to hook it up to something that's a new uh, 
function library that was released in an update 417 later advanced decals so let's go ahead and right click advanced decals and we want advanced decal gun hit now the gun hit takes in it takes in a um, already hit result so it doesn't do the calculation from the other advanced decal function library so it's pretty unique it was actually made uh, once I did this integration of video so we'll go ahead and uh, show you how to handle that we want to pipe in this hit info into here and then we want to add the owner of this as someone to ignore because it has to do some follow-up traces uh, and then we'll go ahead and rob this input over here now the next thing we need to do is uh, we actually need to supply the, the effects um, for this exact weapon. For now, what you would need to do is pass it in, uh, pass this information in uh, per gun that you wanted to use. Uh, for, for demonstration purposes, I'll show you actually how that works as far as just hooking up in here. So I'll go ahead and make this a variable. Uh, we'll go ahead and make this variable a um, uh, weapon FX, is what we're gonna call it, weapon FX. We'll click on that. Now basically, this is the uh, FX set that's gonna go into uh, the advanced decal hit based on the sand or whatever. So we'll go ahead and compile. Uh, what you'll want to do is pass this information in when you call this hit component. So uh, per gun. So right now, putting it on just the default generic shooter, it's going to be the same for all of those machine gun weapons that are instant hit. Uh, you can extend it to update this per instance of that per gun. So that's how you would pipe that in. So by default, everything's hooked up to the advanced decal default setup. So basically, uh, default's going to have your, um, uh, your your dirt and your rock and etc. Uh, one of the things that does not come with this pack is the uh, sound. So we'll need to add the sound files that's in generic shooter uh, to do that quickly. What I would uh, suggest is click on this impact effect and you see that, oh, it, the information is derived here. Go ahead and go to that and open that up. And once you open that up, uh, what you can see is um, the surface map. The surface map here is everything um, that's mapped to generic shooters uh, system. So I'll go ahead and uh, right click and expand all. And you can see that, okay, yes, uh, they, there's all the sound. So we'll go ahead and go to the sound by hitting the magnifying glass. Okay, here's all the three sound types we have. We have a glass, a metal, and just a generic one for everything else. So let's go ahead and set that up real quick on the um, weapon instant hit component. Let's drag that over here so we can actually see what we're clicking on. We'll go ahead and size up to the screen and make it easy to transfer the information back and forth. And we'll go ahead and click on the weapon FX here and look at the default value. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change out the ones we know for sure. So glass, I'll go down to glass. And we'll go over here and pipe that in, close glass out, and then there was metal, so open metal up, click on metal here. Oh, didn't mean to play it. Go ahead and pipe it in there. And there we go, we have metal and glass set up. The rest, we're gonna go ahead and hook up impact uh, gen generic. So we'll go ahead and right click this, expand all, boom. And I'll go ahead and highlight this and I'll just quickly just go through each one of these real quick that aren't set already. So. That's going to be everything except for the glass and the metal. There we have it. Lots of different particles I say, set up here. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to set a, a sound for each one of them. You can actually set a unique sound for each one of them, too. So it's definitely extendable to you know your own needs and your own games. If you don't have snow, if you don't have asphalt or you don't have carpet, you don't need to put the sound in there. So you don't have to fill all these in there. I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I'm not sure. I can't remember all the things that he does have set up. Impact sound impact sound and I think we're getting close to the end a few more and if you had any other special um, information you needed for particle effects this would be a place to the store to carry it around so I can't think of that off the top of my head what that would be but each game could have its own specific needs so impact sound and now I'm down to blood and then I think I'm done there we go all right now everything's just saved all right, so everything's been switched over. Now, every time we fire the rifle gun, it should now spawn. Um, oh, we want to go ahead and return. Pipe this to the return node. Spawn the correct 
impact particle and make the sound because we copied the sounds over. So save that out. And we need to go ahead and open up the test map. So we want to go to generic shooter. Um, there we go. Go to maps and test map. Let's go in here. Yes, save everything we did. Now what I want to do is go ahead and play. I'll go ahead and uh, maximize this up a little bit. Make it a little bigger. It's ready up. Now we can play and listen for the sounds and watch for the particles. I'll go ahead and run over here real quick. Bang, 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 bang. bang. All right. Bang, 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 now let's bang, see bang, if the angles bang, are working. Bang, bang, bang. Yes, the angles are working. Bang, Dirt. Bang, 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 bang. Glass is working. Reload. Is flesh working? Bang, bang, bang. Bang, Flesh bang, is bang. not working. Bang, 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 Grass. Bang, 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 Metal. Bang, 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 Water. Bang, bang. All right. Let's. The sound should also be working. Bang, 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 bang. It sounds like it's working the match also. Was tied. Awesome. All right. So if you guys have any questions, actually, let's uh, look at what happened to the flesh here. So we'll go back to the flesh. All right, let's check out what happened to our flesh particles since there were leaves being spawned. So we'll go ahead and go back to the weapon instant hit and look at the weapon FX. Scroll down to the uh, the blood here. And we can see, wait, <laughs> we must have changed it on accident here. So uh, P impact uh, leaves should not be what blood is. So unless you have, you know, a game that can't have blood, leaves is a perfect substitute for it. So impact blood is what we should have. Okay, save that. And now we'll just retest one more time. And that should solve that problem. Run over and shoot some blood out of that wall. All right. Bang. Bang. Flesh is being bang, shot. Bang, bang. Well, there you have it. If you have any questions or uh, any problems, feel free to hit me up on the Discord channel or leave comments below. Thanks again for watching. Bye.